Hi, I'm Mike, owner of the Ingram in Phoenix, Arizona. Today I'm doing the new arrival video for March 15th, 2024. Okay, so a few pre-orders to tell you guys about, and then I will get right into this week's new arrivals. But this is actually a pretty solid new uh, pre-release week, uh, if you like jazz. Otherwise, fast forward to where I'm holding records. Okay, but the first two, one of them's got me really excited. This was the record that I've been waiting for all year. People say, Mike, what are you most anticipating? It was actually this particular record. That is Donald Bird's uh, Bird's Eye View on Transition. Transition is one of those iconic labels. They made very few records. Most of their records go for astronomical money, and they were all manufactured, not on vinyl, but on uh, injection, injection molded plastic, styrene. So they did not hold up over time very well. So it's very hard to find nice clean copies of it. And not only that, they glue the labels on styrene. Styrene labels aren't bonded to the vinyl. So a lot of the records over the years, the labels fell off. So Donald Bird, Bird's Eye View. Uh, this comes out May 3rd. This is actually coming out as a tone poet with the replica book, which you would have found originally in a tone poet. Oh, excuse me, in a transition title. So that was the title that I was looking forward to the most because it's such, it's one of those records if you have infinite amounts of money, you're still gonna have a difficult time sourcing a clean copy. Very, very difficult record to get. And the other one is Bobby Hutcherson's Total Eclipse. Those are the two tone poets that are coming out May 3rd. They're also doing two verb by request titles. Uh, Chico Hamilton, The Dealer, great record, and Gloria Coleman Quartet, Soul Sister. Both of those come out April 26th. This particular title I'm looking forward to as well. I think it was on Tico originally. Joe Cuba Sextet, Vagabondido, Vagabondindello, a long V word. It <laughs> comes out May 10th. Uh, I like Joe C Cuba. You know, uh, he was more of uh, a lot of his tunes were like very, I won't say mainstream salsa, but, you know, uh, a lot of his stuff I would view as even. He has some commercial appeal to him, you know, within the salsa genre. And the next One Step was announced. That is Patricia Barber's Companion, Impact's One Step. That comes out April 5th. So, damn. That's uh, very soon. So, I'm guessing that was already in the hopper, ready to go uh, when the gets came out. But that is it for this week's new arrival, uh, you know, uh, this week's uh, pre-orders. You can get them all on the website at theingroove.com. Okay. Don't forget, guys, we ship internationally, worldwide. Uh, and I know because we are shipping an absolute ton of this next title. Well, not this next title, this particular title I'll show you first. That is, uh, they're doing an indie seven inch of Pearl Jam's Dark Matter. I don't know what makes this indie. I don't know if it's a special color or probably special color, maybe special artwork. I don't do much with seven inches, but I do seven inches that are kind of, I think are cool or will do real well. And this is one of them that will uh, do real well. Pearl Jam, Dark Matter from their new album, so yeah. I haven't even listened to this yet. I need to, I keep meaning to stream this, but I haven't done it yet. Okay. Hackensack West, Anthony Wilson. This is all analog, cut by Kevin Gray on an all valve chain, all valve microphones, all tube console, all tube everything, tube, tube, tubes. But here it is, the second release from Coherent, uh, Coherent Records. Fantastic lineup, Anthony Wilson, John Clayton, Jeff Hamilton, Gerald Clayton on piano. Uh, I'm maybe 40 listens in, in on this, and it is absolutely fantastic. I'm thrilled to finally have it. I've already started shipping it. Uh, I'll be shipping this thing out to dealers real soon in the next couple of days. Uh, so if you don't buy records from me, you can get it elsewhere. But everybody who bought it from me is either been shipped or will be shipped very shortly. And I'm shipping this thing all over the world. So keep that in mind. Our shipping is very affordable and very aggressively priced now that we've moved to this new uh, DHL worldwide expedited partnership that we've done to where they now collect all the taxes, all of, there's no, there's no surprises on your end. The sweet spot is three to four records. So that's the sweet spot. Uh, there's two options, worldwide expedited. Some countries have like a worldwide, or uh, they have a DHL slash USPS hybrid. That's slow, but if you wanna save some money, you don't mind waiting three, four weeks, pick that option. But if you want it in three or four days anywhere in the world, pick the worldwide expedited. But what's nice is you get three, four records, 
It's extremely reasonably priced, uh, but there's no surprises. You're not going to get any customs bills. You're not going to get any surprise tax man visits. You pay everything on the website. That's the to your door delivered price. But here it is. I'm going to talk about this more. I'll probably make a standalone video. I thought I shouldn't because I am the distributor for this record, but uh, it's fantastic. So I'm going to make a video anyways and show you guys. Uh, it's really, really good. I played it in the store countless times and so far today I've played it multiple times and have sold it multiple times. It really is great. Another record that is fantastic, that is the new Impex. Gets Jill Bartel. They're making 7,500 of these. It's all analog cut from the original master tape by Bernie Grunman. I did a video on this. I did a shootout. In my opinion, this is the definitive version of this record, the one to own. This is also on my top 100 imprint analog records you should own list. It is fantastic. It's a one step, so it's not, you know, super cheap, but it's fantastic. It's done on VR 900 vinyl, which is the SRX vinyl, the Mobile Fidelity calls it super vinyl, but it is the quietest, best vinyl you're going to be using in 2024. It's fantastic. Really a great record. Man, there's tons of killer stuff in this week's video. Joe Henderson, power to the people. Look at this lineup. Joe Henderson, Herbie Hancock, Ron Carter, Mike Lawrence, Jack DeJeanette. Nice gatefold, part of the Jazz Dispensary Top Shelf Series, all analog, AAA, cut by Kevin Gray from the original Master Tapes. The series has been, Kraft has been just absolutely knocking it out of the park. Big, thick, heavy tip-on jacket. Milestone, very difficult to find their records now, man, especially the ones that people want, like this. Great record, really looking forward to it. Also, all analog, cut from the original master tape by Kevin Gray. Well, in most cases, it's Kevin Gray. Matt Luthens has been doing some cutting on some stuff now. Uh, Donald Bird. Band and Voices, A New Perspective. Always love this uh, particular record because of the cover. Uh, I'm almost positive that's a Jaguar on there. It looks like an E-Type, right? Maybe not. I'd have to look at an E-Type. And Miles Davis, of Volume 2. Great record. Is there any bad Miles Davis records from the 50s? No, there's not. So this is a great record. I think they did volume one already. Continuing with the contemporary series, this is all analog, cut from the original master tapes by Bernie Grodman, who non-coincidentally got his start at uh, contemporary way back in the day. But these have been absolutely fantastic. And this whole series, I think there is what, four of these? Shelly Mann uh, and his men at the Blackhawk. I think there's four or five of these, but this whole series, the Shelly Mann at the Blackhawk series, is just fantastic. But uh, highly recommend this. This is kind of contemporary's version of a tone poet. It's great. It's like the greatest thing that ever happened was the Blue Note Tone Poets because the Blue Note Tone Poets came out, they sold so exceptionally well that everybody wanted to get on board. They're like, you know what? We can make high quality analog records cut by a good mastering engineer from the original master tape with a nice jacket and we can sell tons of them. And I like to, and you guys should all just pat yourself on the back because really we kind of created that as buyers, consumers, we created that. We essentially told them that this is what we want and we told them that by buying it in the droves. And subsequently, we got Impact Series, Contemporary Series, there's a Bluesville Series, there's the Blue Note Series, the Craft Jazz Dispensary Series, the OJC Series. These are all high-quality analog series. Even Rhino is doing it with their own in-house Rhino Hi-Fi. But that all got started because of the Tone Poets. Azimuth, live at the Copacabana. This is uh, one pressing worldwide, so they're doing one pressing of this on translu translucent green and blue vinyl. Okay, they finally, this originally was directly, or this was only available direct from the Beatles website, and maybe Universal's website. That is the Beatles, 1967 to 1970. This is the new remix version, uh, but this is the colored vinyl. So this is on limited edition blue vinyl. So this is the three disc version. The labels have gotten real not my favorite thing when they do this. They essentially, they leave it as a website exclusive. 
when all the hype dies down, then they ship it to the rest of these stores. But here we got it. Uh, and there's the red album on red vinyl. Oddly enough, I looked online. I think the box set of this is discontinued. So the box set is no more. They did it originally. It was nothing more than these two records in a slip box for like two or three bucks more. But that looks like uh, when I went on their website, it's being it's, it's cut out. So it's the leader that's being discontinued. Nina Simone, Nina's back on Verve. Casey Musgrave's newest album, Deeper Well. So this is transparent cream vinyl on MCA Nashville. And then this is the indie exclusive spilled milk vinyl, which is kind of, it's kind of cool. It's like a white, I really dig that color. I don't think I've ever seen that before. It's like translucent clear vinyl with opaque white vinyl in it. It's kind of a cool looking vinyl color. Let's see, what is this? The Mesthetics and James Brown Lewis. On Impulse. It's a lineup there. We've got a bass, electric bass, electric guitar, drums, and a sax. This is on Impulse. This could be really, really good. Charles Lloyd. The sky will still, excuse me, the sky will still be there tomorrow. Brian Blades on this, Jason Moran. This is on Blue Note. Produced by Joe Harley, Charles Lloyd, and Dorothy Dar. Actually, look at that. There's uh, Joe Harley hanging out in the back. He's got a good gig, doesn't he? Gets paid to make records. <laughs> and a lot of making records involves hanging out while records are being made. That's a good gig. I'm not saying I don't got a good gig, but that, 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 that'd be a good job, too. From Music on Vinyl, limited to a thousand copies, the Beth Hart Band's Immortal includes a four-page booklet. This is a thousand copies on gold-colored vinyl. This is number 571. This is kind of a cool color. Color cover. Terra Whack. This is worldwide whack on exclusive baby blue vinyl. And she's kind of like hanging out behind a playing car with a moon holding a puppet of herself. <laughs> I dig the cover. The cover's cool. Coming up as rap and hip hop. So it's probably not my thing, but uh, I do do like the cover. Bachner, self-titled. This is the loser edition from Sub Pop. Loser edition is their terminology for first pressing, uh, which also comes with a special color vinyl, which in this case is doesn't say, it just says on colored vinyl. Hombres G. Voya Pasamelo Bean. Oh man, aced it. Pillar, One Love Revolution. We've got it on black vinyl. First time on vinyl. And we've got it on orange vinyl. Justin Moore's Greatest Hits, Red Smoke Colored Vinyl. Bass, we only talk about real shite when we're effed up. The non-censored, but non-censored. Spoken Reflection. This is the Indie Record Store exclusive limited edition ocean floor vinyl. Celtic Women. Celtic Women 20. 20th anniversary. Hmm. Special guests. Oh, apparently there's a lot of Celtic Women. They're all in the back. I was gonna say, I'm looking at this cover and I'm like, they've aged remarkably well because if this is the 20th anniversary, they all look like they're in their 20s. 
maybe it's like, uh, maybe Celtic women is not a specific group of women. Maybe they like, you know, like what Gene Simmons wants to do with Kiss. It's like a reoccurring, you know, different people join the group. Samson, head on. That's a cool looking vinyl. It is like a red and white, black splatter, split colored vinyl. What is this? Accra Ashawaka and his Count Buffaloes, African rock. Akara Ashikawa. Boy, this looks really good. It's coming up on the. Yeah, I'm going to listen to this, including insert in English and Japanese with original liner notes, part of the Orient series. This looks really good. Out of Japan. God, what is this? This is like a big pile of something for reasonable price under 40 bucks it's either two discs and a book yeah it looks like two discs and a massive book isaiah collier parallel universe direct to disc sessions recorded live direct to disc in the netherlands 2023 also available on high quality rtm cassette all right get carried away there now this looks pretty good. Give that a listen to. Boss Gags from Music on Vinyl. Limited to 750 copies on blue colored vinyl. This is number 57. Also from Music on Vinyl, we've got Saxons Forever Free, limited to 1,000 copies on trans translucent blue vinyl. Number 482. And we've got this, nope, this is Unleash the Beast, limited to a thousand copies on gold color vinyl. This is number 808. The new record from Ariana Grande, this is called Eternal Sunshine. Friday morning when I opened up, some chick like ran in the door, grabbed it, ran to the register. She was like, she wanted to make sure she was the first to get it. And I'm like, oh man, we're gonna sell a ton of these records and I don't know if we sold another one all day long. Maybe we did, I don't know. I wasn't up front all day. Well, Maggie Leidemann, Head Split. Dion, Girlfriends is the name of the album. Brand new studio album from the Rock and Roll Hall of Famer. No Belmonts on this, though. Twenty One Savage, American Dream, American Dream, number one Billboard album. Stephen Wilson Jr., Son of Dad. This is the indie vinyl exclusive. Procol Harum, Shine On Brightly. This is Cut at Abbey Road Studios, an official facsimile vinyl edition of this classic album on esoteric recordings. Joe Strummer and the Mascaleros, live at Action Town Hall. The Damned. Shadow Tales from Mulhouse on Double Haze Vinyl. Cool looking color on the vinyl. Paula Cole, low. I'm assuming this is a new Paula Cole record. Dated 2023, maybe new to vinyl. All right. Jazz Artist Guild, Newport Revels. This is the 2024 remaster on black vinyl. I feel like this just came out. What's the deal with the 2024 remaster? Did something happen with the original, with the 2023 master? Now I gotta look it up. Interesting. Best of the course. 
Oh my God. So I was working in the nineties at, uh, circuit city. It was like the late nineties, 99. And they were doing a surround sound demo for like SAC CDs. And they had a sampler disc. And the sampler disc had a couple songs on it, but one of them was the chorus Breathless. I probably heard that, I mean, every 20 minutes for months and months and months. It was brutal. They had like a little Bose cube system, you know, their surround sound system. And you walked by the aisle and you went and stand up to it and you saw a little video of the chorus doing Breathless and then you heard it in surround sound. Oh my God, it was awful. But... They did have a demo of the Dark Side of the Moon's, I think later on, Dark Side of the Moon, they did a demo of Time. Andreas Calamaro, Alta Sudidad. Vitamin String Quartet performs Fallout Boy. This is a record store exclusive. So it's stores that participate in Record Store Day a compilation of the best Vitamin String Quartet covers of Fall Out Boy from the last 15 years on Colored Wax. From Music on Vinyl, Curves, Cuckoo, limited to 2,000 copies on pink and purple marble vinyl. Number 790. This is an absolute banger of a record. This is another one of these. Impacts has really been slipping in some just killer records that kind of go under the radar until they come out and they're like, oh, whoa, Heifetz, the Lark. Fantastic. Highly recommend. This is an amazing sounding recording. Not a piece of music I was really familiar with. I'm not a classical expert by any stretch of the imagination. I put it on and I started it and like two or three minutes in, the employees were like, what the hell is he listening to? By the end of the first side, they're like, oh, yeah, that was awesome. Really good. And this is the other restock of the other banger they put out recently but shanks barefoot adventure highly recommend it really good it is a soundtrack to a surf documentary but ignore all that it's a proper jazz album it's really good also from impacts this is a restock the white house sessions live 1962 this is tony bennett and dave brubeck doing a uh, the story is in there i think they're doing like uh i don't know if they're on the lawn of the white house or what the deal is but they're doing a uh performance some sort of uh, performance for a fundraiser or something. I don't remember what it was. Came out years ago, but great record. MGMT. Does this have, uh, yeah, this has kids. I'm guessing uh, recent repress. Ooh, the best of Oingo Boingo. Limited edition, 500 on Blood Moon Vinyl. Rubellin Remasters. Oh, did we get a restock of this, man? This thing sold out like lickety split. Somebody told me they were selling for like 100 bucks on, online. That is Massey Stars, So Tonight That I Might See, but this is the RSD exclusive. You can only get it again at RSD stores that participate. Uh, but this is the Violent Smoke excuse me, violet smoke and purple and black splatter vinyl. I got heavily allocated the first time around, but maybe they sent me some more. Jethro Tull, the Chateau Horaville Sessions, 1972. And we've got cake, pressure, pressure chef, 180 gram black vinyl. All right, we've got some more Candid. Again, dated 2024. This is we and Max Roach's We Insist in mono, dated 2024. I feel like this came out, but maybe it's a stereo that came out. What the hell's going on here? Charles Mingus, Incarnations. I don't know if this one's ever come out. I think this is maybe the mono's coming out for Record Store Day. Remastered by Bernie Grunman. The guy that was, you know, got this Candid series off the ground did a YouTube video a while back talking about the series and mentioned that all of these were being cut by Bernie Grumman from the original Master Tape. 
Uh, let's see, the Black Crows, Happiness Bastards, the first new album in 15 years. Boy, did they make up? What happened there? I kind of guessing they made up. Here it is, featuring Waiting and Waiting. All right, this next Glenn Danzig album, which I'm going to censor with this Pearl Jam single because there's like a skull lady there and you can kind of see where that's going, right? But uh, this is on black with red and white splatter vinyl. And last but not least, apparently Justin Timberlake still making music. I didn't know. Now I do. Justin Timberlake, everything I thought I was on RCA. 2024. There it is. That is it for this week's new arrival. You can, again, get all of this stuff online at the website at theingroove.com. Until next time.